96 overall, Matt Wieters, maybe one of the best catchers in the game that isn't really talked about that much. This card came out as a World Series award at the end of season two of rank season, just like the Kyle Seeger we debuted in last video. Today, we bring you the 96 Matt Wieters. Get him from World Series, or getting 40 wins in ranked seasons, and you may have yourself one of the better catches in the game. Let's get into it. YouTube, what is going on? We are back with another video. This is episode two of our new series called Snag or Sell, where we decide whether you should keep or sell some of these better cards in the game that you can buy right on the market. And today, we are talking 96 Matt Weeders. And before we get into that, there's a couple things we gotta quickly talk about. In case you are brand new and have not hit that subscribe button, we do post all information or content on the channel, hitting and pitching tips, gameplay tips, as in general, more videos like this will be trying players. So in case you are brand new, trying to get better at MLB The Show, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below for nearly daily uploads. And don't be afraid to browse the channel and see if there are any tips to help you. In case you don't know, I do stream on Twitch. This is a game that we streamed on my Twitch channel the other day. So if you want to come hang out with us, watch me play the game live, link will be down there in my description as well. If you want to come swing by, give it a follow. We're streaming every day, alternating between basically 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. Eastern. So come hang out with us and watch you play some MLB The Show and maybe try some of these players or ask any questions on there. But now, let's talk about Matt Weeders and let's get my opinions on the card. Looking at the attributes, you may think this card is a tad underwhelming, you know? Not the best contact for its righties and you're facing a lot of righties, which is a fair thing to be a concern for this card. However, the thing that Weeders has is a great swing He's got great hitting attributes other than a contact versus right. You know, 87 and 80 power. He's a switch hitter. And he's actually got great defense. 94 fielding. There aren't that many catchers in this game that I would recommend with diamond defense that are actually worth putting in your lineup. And Weeders is one of those guys. On paper, he has the attributes. But we're going to really see in game how his swing plays. And will he be worth that 225 price point he is right now? I don't know. But we shall find out in game how he stands up. I've been using Posada, who's a switch hitter, but Posada has a blatant lack in power. Weeders has a better bump in power. It's a little weaker versus righty. So we'll see how he plays this game. All right, let's see. Let's see what the lineup is looking like for our opponent here. We're going to be on Legend. He's got a God Squad. And we're in Houston, a park I very much hate playing at. All right, so Alfonso. Oh my God. That curve on Legend looks filthy. Holy. Also, this is actually a good matchup for Weeders because he is better versus lefties. So it's definitely nice to be facing one of the few lefties that people actually like. That it honestly seems glitchy. The curveball literally seems glitchy out of the hands. Holy hell. On Hall of Fame, that's a rocket. On Legend with a slightly smaller PCI, absolutely not. Tough scene. Oh, I timed it, not the PCI. Okay. I mean, at least you put up a good swing, but you know. Definitely not an ideal start to this ball game, but we got time to work with. All right, Kloops. Let's see. Really, I think with Kluber, as long as he hits his spots, he doesn't throw cutters over the heart of the plate. He's got the pitch mix to be successful. He just doesn't have the velocity. So, you gotta hope, that, you know, on Legend here, it'll work out. We dot this cutter, we probably freeze him. Or not. You know, we, you know, we don't freeze him, he hits it up the middle. <laughs> it's where we wanted it. That's the thing, man. I feel like my fear with Corey Kluber is that he's gonna be a little short on velocity, and the per nine is gonna be just a little not good enough, you know? If, he, if they waited a week and gave him a no-hitter card, then that card would probably be better. I mean, there's a chance we get that as a top sound next week. But right now, if this is the only top sound Kluber we get, I would think it's safe to say this card will not have much of an impact over the the long run of ranked. Oh, that's a perfect pitch. Way to get a glove on it, Poppy! So, the, the, you're just not covering the bag? You're just not covering the bag? Is that what we're doing here, Kluber? You're just not covering the bag? Well, this is ugly. This is definitely not ideal. That is for sure. Corey. Corey. All right. Three, two count. Turn it. Turn it. Come on. Thank you. Oh, 
pain. All right, Matt Wieters in his first at bat. He's got the matchup here. This would be a great chance to test him. Oh, Wieters, perfect, perfect down the line. Talk about a first AB, that'll be a long single. 30 speed will make it too. <laughs> man, I can't get a single check swing. Get through, get through, get through, get through, get through. Damn it, man. All right. Hey, one, two, three inning. That's a good bounce back inning for the Kloops. Good pitch, dude. I gotta hit that ball to literally the moon, dude. I gotta hit that where Albert Pujols hit that in the playoffs, man. I can't be missing that. Also, good changeup, Kluber. Oh, God, I'm a mockery. Dot, 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 sit. I'm dog water, hot dog water. Nice play. Inning over. Kluber's keep us in the game, man. We're going to get the bats going. We got this. Come on, Weeders. Matt Wieters, this is his ball game, chat. This is his ball game. Both hits on the team and the only run on the team. Now I'm early on it. All right, well, you know, we got a lead. Good news, we have a lead. Bad news, I am hitting like a literal child out there. And the only reason we have a home run is because of Matt Wieters. Oh, come on, man. Perfect pitch. I did everything I could there, man. That went right down the popsicle stick. He just, that's just his control on the slurve, dude. If he had a little better control on that, he dots it. Ah, these early grounders, too. Rolling over the away cutter over and over again, man. And try to turn two here. Or make sure a grounder to sneak by the infield. I need a perfect throw there. Damn it, dude. We're holding him on on second. He's, he's being the freaking pest on second, dude. There we go. Good play. One out away. Oh, Buxton. We're going to need a play here. We're going to need a play here, Buxton. There we go. Out of the jam. Things you like to see. Oh. I did everything I could. That swing, just a little below it, dude. Damn. I literally sat inside. I got the pitch, and I timed it up. Just a little bit below, dude. We take those. All right, Poppy. The inning has been extended. All right, wasn't ready for it. Not a bad pitch. I probably would have rolled it the hell over. David Ortiz. Come on, ball stretch. Have some legs. Let's go. Poppy with the lefty lefty crime. He threw that change up one too many times, dude. He threw it twice in a row. That's a mistake. Give me a call. Give me a call for the one time. Damn it, I suck. All right, well, we take a two run lead. Dot. Good pitch. Let me go to the slurve. He thinks it's going to be a cutter, but it's going to be a slurve. He's going to be too early on it. Now we go back to the sinker inside. We went to the breaking ball away. He realized he was early on it, so now he's going to slow down to the breaking stuff, but he's going to be late on his sinker. Here he is. The man of the game. Matt Wieters. Two for two with a single and a homer. All right, so now he's facing the righty with a wiener PCI. His PCI is puny with that 80 contact on Legend. Jeez, dude. Oh, that was it. That was it. That ball should have been hit where like further than Albert Pujols is homer here in Houston. Matt Wieters. He has two home runs. Oh my, maybe, Chad, am I underestimating Matt Wieters here? His swing just feels really good. Oh, I suck. I suck. All right. Well, we get some big insurance there. We got a four run, four one ball game. And hey, look at Matt Wieters, dude. Just, I will say, he's got a nice swing where he's turning on that inside pitch. He's got 
A nice quick swing. Good swing. Good swing. He timed up a sinker. You gotta really mix mix it. Oh god. We're gonna need to play here, Trout. Ah! Alright, Kluber's done. Now we go to the high velo. Now we go to the bowling ball sinker of Jury's Familia. However, this is a big however here. If we happen to get a second no-hitter, Corey Kluber, you're going to want to watch out for that card. That card will be solid. Is this going to be a double, dude? Oh, my God. Oh, he's stealing third? Got him, Weeders. I need a perfect throw. I need a perfect throw right there. We didn't get it. Sit down, Trout. He's not biting at it at all, dude. There we go. Yup. Oh! What a dot. That's a big pitch. Let's go, Familia. Oh my god, what a dot. I went sinker. He threw three sinkers. I missed them all. What's the matter with me, Velo? So, I'll stick with Chapman here. There's one now. For you, the sitting Chapman, it is David Ortiz. And he gets it. That's a dot. Good pitch. There's two. Oh, bro. No, no. No, no, no. I'm going ruthless with the bullpen here. I'm, I'm going to be ruthless with the bullpen here. Oh, he's putting in Soto. He put in Juan Soto. Good pitch. Good fight, good fight. I don't care about your stealing runner. Sit down. There it is. There's our swing with Ernie. Come on, ball stretch. Okay, okay. Welcome to Minute Mead Park and why you guys don't play at Minute Mead. One Don. Good pitch. Got him to bite the low sinker. Ernie. That is a interesting decision. Oh my god, that's a hell of a swing. Trout, extend the glove, dude. Come on, man. We're going to put in Lee Smith. Mike Trout, I swear to Jesus H. Christ, if you let that drop, you would have gotten a firm slap to the face. No, no, we're not doing that, bud. No, stop that. You can't just hit R2 after a second, okay? If you're going to do that, I'm going to lose support if you're hitting R2, okay? You can't just be like, well, now I'll hit R2. You got to do it right away, bro, okay? We're not doing this, you cheesehead. Sit the hell down. Get out of here. Get out of my freaking game. So, how about Matt Weeders there, chat? <laughs> how about Matt Weeders? <laughs> Let's just go over Matt Weeders here. Listen, we, we tried out Kyle Seeger, and Kyle Seeger was solid. He kind of was ex expected, you know? He did exactly what I expected. He had a couple hits. His swing felt nice. PCI a little small this contact. Matt Weeders in this one game really outlived my expectations. I mean, catcher's a weak spot at this point in the game. There's some cap builds I think you could use out there. You have like Posada, Adley, Salvador Perez. There aren't that many great catchers. But I will say, if Weeder's price does go down over time to like about 100k, this will probably be like a must-have catcher. I will say I'm considering keeping him for that 40-win that World Series pack if I get to that point. This card is a nice card. I think he actually might have a fair argument of being ca best catcher in the game. A lot of people like Posada... Adley, Salvi, or Piazza. But I will say that he's got a good case. Plus his good defense. Don't don't count this card out. This card is actually a beast of a card. If you make World Series and you don't have the best squad, consider keeping him. I'm going to sell him at this price point of 200 plus K because I've loved Posada. You know, I got my Yankee bias. But I will say Weeders is worth a try, especially when his price goes down. 